Welcome to the State Television Campaign of Western Armenia, broadcast for today. A session of the Governing Council of the Republic of Western Armenia. A memorial sculpture was opened in Yerevan. Baku submitted a new accusation against the captured military political leadership of Artsakh. Baku does not cooperate with Eastern Armenia in the direction of finding out the fates of missing persons. Discussion in Geneva on the fate of the Armenian hostages. On 14 September, the 32nd session of the Governing Council of the Republic of Western Armenia was held. President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosyan, made an opening speech. During the session, President Armena Gabrahamian expressed how important works were carried out for the organization of the Conference of Exxon Province and the concert dedicated to the 155th anniversary of Komitas. President Armena Gabrahamian had a speech at the conference and he valued the cultural heritage of Western Armenia to be kept and preserved. At the meeting, the president also mentioned the exhibition where Armenian cultural heritage were presented. Ms. President Lydia Markosyan informed about the importance of the Medal of Komitas for Tapet. At the end of the session, Mr. Abrahamian said that we are fully capable of protecting our rights and presenting the reality that the international community is beginning to take into account. A memorial sculpture dedicated to Avora Mardiganyan and the victims of the genocide of Armenians, which was undertook by the Avora Humanitarian Initiative. It was opened in the park of the Komitas Museum Institute. After the opening ceremony, the animated documentary Daylight of Avora was shown. Avora Mardiganyan, a Hollywood star and philanthropist who survived the genocide of Armenians, gave an inspiration to the establishment of the Avora Initiative. The offer of the memorial is Vigen Avetis and it presents the two stages of Mardi Ganyan's life, from the horrors of the genocide to his rescue in the United States. Many honored guests participated in the opening ceremony, including Nubara Feyan, Khajak Archbishop Parsamian and others. Martin Adaram presented the last page of the humanitarian book manuscript dedicated to the newly opened memorial, which will be displayed until October 7, 2024. Baku made a new fake accusation against the military political leadership of Artsakh, which is more like a joke. According to the chief prosecutor of Azerbaijan, Kamran Aliyev, among the previous accusations, they are also accused of destruction of historical and cultural monuments. The prosecutor added that all the rights of the arrested persons are illegally protected. Each of them has several lawyers and has the right to get acquainted with the materials of the case. The Prosecutor General's Office of Azerbaijan initiated criminal cases against 15 former military and political leaders of Artsakh. As a result of the massive military aggression carried out by Baku in September 2023, a part of the military political leadership of Artsakh was illegally detained and taken to Baku. Spokesperson of the Eastern Foreign Ministry, Ani Badalyan, referred to the survey of Radar Armenian regarding Baku's comments that Armenia refuses to provide information on missing persons. She emphasized that Eastern Armenia has always been interested in humanitarian issues, including finding out the fates of missing persons. The Armenian site has 1,008 missing people, and their relics are date were previously transferred to Baku. In 2024, made the scheduled meeting between the commissions of the two sites did not take place due to Baku's refusal. As a result of the text in Baku, many Armenians have forcibly disappeared, but despite the evidence, Baku does not cooperate with international human rights organizations. The document published in the UN office are evidence of the cases of 24 Armenians captured in 2020. A discussion was held in Geneva entitled Human Rights in Baku, the Fate of Armenian Detainees, which were organized by the Geneva Office of the Christian Solidarity Organization. The representative of the organization, Joel Weltkamp, reminded that a year ago that the forced displacement of Artsakh was in its final stage and in the last three years the hostage-taking of Armenians had become a means of destroying the government. Today, dozens of Armenians are still being held in Baku. The speakers of the discussion emphasized that the fate of these people should be prioritized on the way to justice. Dear viewers, this was all for today. Goodbye.